hello, 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 and welcome, my Leo collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this new moon in Leo, your sign, uh, to the full moon in Pisces in September. I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons. Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, which <laughs> your dad just calls me Mal. Hey, 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 hey. With that intro, it pretty much gets rid of all the people who are not supposed to be watching my channel. So welcome, you made it through the intro. Oh, my subscribers, I love you so very much. Really, really, really. I've met so many of you through the Facebook group, the Mark Angelo Lions, Mal for short, Facebook group. Um, and I really thank you so much. It's just an ever-evolving journey here on this YouTube thing. Uh, growing and learning every day, and every reading I do get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. I mean, I've been doing it a long time, right? I'm going to be 52, September 6th, Leo rising that I am. I am a Virgo. I am not a Leo, I just look like one. Um, so I really do appreciate uh, your love and support as I am going and growing. And for anyone new to the channel, welcome. And please do consider liking the video if you like it, subscribing to the channel, making comments. And by all means, we do have the notification bell. And I am going to be doing uh, a bit more live stream, particularly once I get this series a little bit more managed, right? Only on number five. Oh, and by the way, I understand that uh, YouTube has a glitch in it, that people are being unsubscribed from channel channels, right? It's been going on for a while. I just kind of read about it today on the internet, so I'm sure there's a much deeper uh, truth there somewhere, but just so that you know. So if you are one of my subscribers, just look down. Just make sure. Cool, cool. Uh, then I think we're ready to, to get down to business, shall we? Take a nice deep breath. My Leonines, my Leos, we are doing a What Do I Need read, a seven-card draw general uh, What Do I Need read for this uh, new moon in Leo our uh, new moon uh, on the 8th of August, uh, sorry, the 18th of August, a lot of eights on the page there, to uh, the full moon in Pisces on the 2nd of September, and that is the full moon that I was born on. So I will quite literally be uh, 52 years old, at least in terms of full moons, uh, on this full moon. My birthday is actually on the 6th. So, uh, what do I need? Read is very simple. Uh, seven card draw, pulling from seven different decks, just one card each, uh, asking the divine, the pantheons, the usual suspects of pantheons that I work with every day, uh, what it is that we need for this full moon to new moon next, and I'll explain that as I go. All the decks that I read are in the description box at the bottom. It is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what does not. Check your other signs, and, uh... I think we'll get a kick out of this one. Let's hope. I could use it, right? So just focus on your breath. I will do the same. You so that you can stay in the present moment. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Me so that I can stay in the present moment and be the channel of guidance and grace that I have been whew, developing practically since birth. <laughs> Clairvoyant empath. Great fun. Growing up with that in the 80s and the 90s. But there you have it. Shall we? Take a nice deep breath, everybody. Because we're going to start uh, with the Doreen Virtue Healing with the Angels Oracle to find out what is the healing angel that we most need to call upon and work with uh, this new moon to full moon next. Uh, because it's offering its help, but we have to ask too, right? It's voluntary. It's a two-way thing. So nice deep breath. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. My angels, please give me one card in clarity. For the Leo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, perhaps myself included, for our new moon in Leo to the full moon in Pisces. That is my full moon in Pisces, isn't it? Uh, August to September 2020. What is the angel that is offering its help to us, offering its support that we need to work with and call upon? Dreams. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't remember my dreams. I know you'd think, right, with <clears throat> everything going on in the multidimensional world that we're in, being a clairvoyant empath, but i got to tell you, being a mystic, I think I vent a lot of that stuff during the day working with people, right? So it, when I sleep, I actually sleep, I think, is what's going on. So certainly this can be about dream interpretation and pay attention to your dreams uh, for messages from the soul, things like that. And, of course, there's the Jungian side of that, too. Not a bad idea. But to call upon the angel of dreams, this can also really be about working within your dreams, being awake, lucid dreaming, that kind of stuff, doing dream work in general. 
But I, I, what I'm getting is really more about the aspirational dreams, the dreams, the visions that we come in to manifest in this life. I mean, Apollo is, is the god of Leo for me, so it is very much that artistic, creative thing. I mean, here's his totem ring. It's a piece of uh, rutilated quartz, just a perfect round cabochon, right? But it's, it's just that power of focus, right? Fixed fire. So I'm kind of getting for a big chunk of us, this is about what are the dreams of our heart? Right, the carotid artery is actually shaped like the symbol for Leo, right? The astrological sign, that sort of whoop, like that. So uh, uh, let's keep that in mind. We're going to refer to that because this could be about dreams coming true. And, and certainly, why wouldn't that show itself in the nocturnal, subconscious, unconscious dream state? I mean, forever young, I'm all down with dream interpretation. It's just, I don't remember my dreams. It's just weird. Oh, well. And so it goes, and so it goes, and so it goes, and so it goes. Here's the new deck, the Blue Angel Oracle. Already cleansed, consecrated, empowered, and dedicated to the vibration of Archangel Michael, the Blue uh, Angel, the Blue Morpho, the Blue Angel. I mean, Blue Angel, I mean, there's Marlena Dietrich in that, there's Cindy Lauper in that, there are jets flying overhead in that, the Blue Angel, but so be it. I love Archangel Michael. I'm, a, I'm an aerialite myself, connected to Archangel Ariel. Um, but I used to be an Archangel Michael channel back in the 80s. <laughs> Don't be shocked. Don't be shocked at all. I'm Lena Rising. So uh, we're going to use the bookie book on this because I just picked this up in Saratoga uh, over the weekend visiting my parents at the Magic Moon. I always plug them. I love them. I love Veronica and the staff there. If you're ever in town, definitely drop by. It's like a magical Costco there. They've got everything. Um, and you can tell them I said hi or I sent you and they're, you're, they're not going to give you a discount. But they're going to go, oh, and maybe kibbutz with you a little bit, you know, like kind of kind of joke around a bit. Cool. Uh, so let's tune in. This is just lovely. They, he gave me a specific way to tune myself to him, so let me do that. Take a nice deep breath. <laughs> Archangel Michael, hi. <laughs> that really works. Please, one card in clarity for us uh, Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, what is it that we need from this new moon in Leo, our new moon of the year, to the full moon in Pisces, August, into uh, September 2020? <gasps> the Maitreya. Oh my god, the Maitreya. I know what the Maitreya is to me. When I was doing the, the review, if you oh yeah, I forgot, I, 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 uh, I did a live stream unboxing, I, I, and, and when this one came up, you could see it on my face. Uh, the Maitreya, Wisdom of the Ages. <laughs> I don't know. He's looking a little Ace Freely Peter Crest to me right now, but that's okay, too. I'm, I'm down with that. Oh, Ace Freely. Back in the day. I mean, then he took the makeup off, but, you know, that's makeup for you. Uh, so the number here is number 28. This is new, and I don't think I'm going to be able to memorize all this stuff, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm getting on in years, but really, who isn't? It's number 28. God, could they make the type any small? Could they make the type any smaller? Uh, is that him? The Maya Trance, 26. It's close. It's a little thing. Uh, wisdom of the Ages. Screw this. Um, you have been on this earth many times before, and you shall return many times to come. I know a lot of people who probably just clicked off at the list. I'm like, no, I'm not. Click, right? Um, from each lifetime, you keep the most precious experiences the ones that have made you the beautiful soul you are. Oh, okay. Well, of course, the soul records all of that stuff we take. That is integrated into the truth of who we are, lifetime to lifetime. You have witnessed humanity's unfolding and have experienced all there is. Is that all there is? <laughs> is that all there is? Uh, your mother in this life may have been your daughter in another. Oh, I highly doubt that. You may one day be your child's child. They're cats. Uh, you have experienced poverty and wealth in this life alone. Happiness and sadness in this life too. Uh, sickness, health, and yet through it all you have essentially stayed the same. Life is an endless cycle. And you are your soul's endless unfoldment. Millions of Earth 
year, oh, sorry, millions of earth years have passed and many more will come. What will the future be like? Now keep in mind that card of dreams there. What shall it bring? Perhaps we will all see things from a different perspective. Perhaps we can start now. Friends and enemies, black or white, of one faith or no faith, is not everyone and everything worth loving? Are we not all, in essence, part of the same family? My soul is a sacred space through which I create endless abundance. My thoughts and ideas are not restricted by time or space. That's what Archangel Michael says we need. My Atreya, just look it up. There's a lot written on it, and I don't know the, the accuracy or, or you know truth of any of it. I think until we croak or have a direct experience, we won't really know. But um, wisdom of the ages, that we carry all of that within us. So, you know, certainly now plugging, going back, that was the moment, right? Yikes. Uh, so really plugging that in with what the angels and now one of the archangels saying is that look to your dreams, not just the nocturnal kind, because you're accessing that wisdom of the ages then, which makes rest really important. Um, but also the the dreams of like what is coming and what will the future be like and can we see this differently and what is our role in it? And I think we know that by what we feel in our hearts, because really, isn't it all worth loving? <laughs> if we're all the same thing, experiencing itself in different ways. Unity consciousness essentially is what it's saying, but to feel that, that's, uh, that's kind of a big, you, you feel the impact of that. I know you do. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's look at the Daughters of the Moon Tarot uh, in terms of what it is we need to be aware of within ourselves, right? The voices of the goddess, the divine yin. So I think yin side myself, right? Not yang, outside yin. Uh, take a nice deep breath. Because <sighs> it'll help me ground that a little bit. That was very expansive, very quick, that card, the Maitreya. So please... My goddess is divine. <laughs> one card, yeah, I know, one card in clarity uh, for uh, the Leo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is it that we need to be aware of inside of ourselves, particularly with the card of dreams there, that subconscious internal psychological aspect, and with the Maitreya, the wisdom of the ages, literally saying within our souls that we carry it all with us. It's a part of who we are, but certainly more yin than yang. What is it that we most need to be aware of, my goddesses? Please leave the card right in my hand. And we've got Hakate, the Scorpio card. <laughs> Queen of the Crossroad, goddess of witches. Uh, actually, a Titan, elder Titan, not technically an Olympian, but beloved of those underground, right? Uh, Hades and Persephone and that whole gang, who I love very, very, very much. We are talking about being aware of, and this is within ourselves, this isn't a Scorpio person, so obviously if you have any planets, uh, uh, any, you know, planets in the sign of Scorpio, have a look at that. Maybe check out the Scorpio read when it comes around. Um, there, there's really a depth here and a power um, and certainly speaks directly to this card of dreams, but also that hidden, the hidden gems, right? Scorpio, where all the jewels are, right? All the underground stuff, all the things of value underground, and certainly that which is hidden from daylight, right? The stuff deep within ourselves. Now, I could talk about any of the signs of the zodiac for hours. So if you're not, you know, some planet in Scorpio, again, this is Yen, this isn't, like, even if you are dealing with a Scorpio in your life right now, and, you know, we all have them, we all, <laughs> they're always somewhere, uh, to, to really get that even then, it's just to maybe put us into connection with that within ourselves, uh, that depth, that eighth house, um, other people's resources, money, sex, and power. It's very second chakra. It's the genitals, right? So it, it's a lot of power dynamic, but such a fixed uh, water sign. And by the way, uh, Leo being fixed fire, this is fixed water. So that can be a bit of a juggling act to literally working with temperance, but we'll see what comes up. So that's interesting and very mysterious too, by the way. I mean, Scorpio is Pluto, Lord Hades god of the underworld and death, uh, at least planetarily. 
So, uh, so let's keep going. Let's let's see what's next. I'm so into this reading because I get it. Breathe. As I turn to my gods and Lord Apollo, who sits solo in the throne of Leo for me, please, ah, my gods, ah, Apollo in particular, one card in clarity for this Leo collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. What do they need to know about outside of themselves, either in the outside world, the literal world, or in terms of our own masculine energy, going from that inner Scorpio to that outer manifestation in action? What is it that we need to be aware of this new moon in Leo, our new moon, to the full moon in Pisces? Uh, August to September 2020. Please just leave the card in my hand. This one's good. <laughs> it's the freaking Leo card. Strength. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Mark Angelo Lyons, Mel for sure. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they just tell me when to, to pull the card. Um, yeah, so, so in terms of what we need to be aware of, we need to be aware of really with these dreams about the courage to follow the dreams that are written in your heart. What are your heart's desires? Now, there's a lot in there. It's really saying, Archangel Michael's saying, you got what you need inside of you already. And what's inside of you since we're going there, right? In terms of the level of the soul, not so much the personality, the ego, right? Our bank accounts, our relationships, all of that. This is something above and beyond all that eternal, collected from all the lifetimes which is very much the underworld, very, very much uh, Hecate. Also, definitely speaking here of, of Hecate, deep conviction, deep emotion um, about money, sex, and power, about the things that we want. You know, you really feel that second chakra energy, that depth there, that fixed water, and the courage that it takes, and the emotional fortitude. That's what we need. This is just for this waxing moon. This is quite a bit. Oh, but it's Leo season. Why wouldn't it? That totally makes sense. It totally makes sense. Yeah, we're a little bit longer, right? <laughs> yeah, we're at least a little bit longer. By the 18th, I wonder if we will still be... Oh, yeah, we will still be uh, by the time, obviously, New Moon heads. Okay, let's keep going. Um, the Ascended Masters now. It's a bit much. Um, the uh, uh, Love Pack by Chuck Spisano. Just three of the four suits. The Suit of Problems is back there in the box. It can take a break. Uh, we are working with the suit of luck, the suit of grace, and the suit of healing. Let's see which one we need to be aware of, embrace, or uh, let in. Let's do this. Because really, shifting from that to the Ascended Masters, it's a different vibe. And there they are, my Ascended Masters, please. One card in clarity for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is it that we need to be aware of? Uh, this new moon in Leo, our moon's new moon sign to... Uh, there's something getting ready to happen by a full moon. I see it, but it's different for everybody, but I see it. Uh, uh, the full moon in Pisces. Please, what is the piece of luck that we need to see, the piece of healing we need to embrace, or the piece of grace that we need to allow in for this new moon to full moon next? Take that one. Is there something on my face? Well, there should be, because we got the card of the erotic. Now, who else got... Oh, Gemini got this, too. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no! Not Gemini's instant three-way. Just add me. Uh, wow, the erotic. Now, look. That just changes everything. And yet, there's the Scorpio card, right? And yet, there's the strength card. So, look. Uh, I'll put this all together at the end, but... This changes things, right? It's like, I, I. it's true, not every card that hits the table in a what do I need read needs to be connected, but there's a through line here. There is a storyline going on here, at least in terms of uh, vibration, right? That, that there are things that we've been wanting to do, and is the erotic a second chakra thing? Yeah. Is it connected to Scorpio? Yeah. But when backed with the wisdom of the soul... Our own, it, the soul is an individualized unit of consciousness of the divine, like the quantum field 
cloned itself Bloop, as one thing. That's what we are at core, right? Whew, storing all of that wisdom and that experience. Call upon the angel of dreams. Because I bet, I really bet there's some encoding in our things that we really, really, truly want. <laughs> Even uh, our erotic energy. Tantra, Tantra, Tantra is my mantra, mantra, mantra. <laughs> Delta, 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 can I help you, help you, help you? Oh my god, 1990s flashbacks. Let's, because uh, I, I don't want to touch that erotic card right now. I mean, I do, but not on camera. Uh, let's take the Whispers of Love Oracle. I discovered the same company that puts out the Blue Angel uh, Oracle, which is by the company's name is Blue Angel. I guess Archangel Michael's in charge of that. Uh, let's ask the higher selves of all involved here. Uh, what is the whisper of love? The piece of insight, information, or inspiration that would help us most that we need, right? Nice deep breath. I'm going to take another one. The higher selves of all involved, my own included, please one card in clarity for the Leo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What is the piece of inspiration, information, or insight that we need, the whisper of love, for this new moon in Leo, our new moon sign, to the full moon in Pisces, August to September 2020. Please just leave it in my hand. One card, please. Higher selves of all involved. <laughs> Turn on your heart light. Let it shine wherever you go. <laughs> the millennials are like, what just happened? It's a Neil Diamond song. Google it. Ouch. It's very E.T. Um, turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. <laughs> Erotic love? Possibly. I mean, this is really a second chakra activation. And by the way, turn on your heart light with the card of strength, which is about emotional fortitude anyway. <sighs> Right? It's not about the ability to pick up the dining room table and throw it across the room. It's about the strength of the soul. It's about the manifestation of the Maitreya in the, within each of us, right? Uh, into physical form, but through the erotic. <laughs> so down for this. I know what candle I'm lighting on, New Moon. <laughs> it's, it's got an interesting shape to it. I actually don't own one, but there's always Amazon. I bet I can find one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun anointing that one. Let's let, <clears throat> breathe. As we are going to turn once again, because uh, we're going to be turning our, our turning on our heart light and the higher selves. They're going, <clears throat> yeah, because this really is balanced with love. Like this erotic thing. This is, this could be sacred sexuality. Your wildest dreams backed up by the love, power, and wisdom of your soul. And you're talking deep, from deep, 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 real deep uh, within some of us. <laughs> Who knows about meaningful, but real deep. Uh, uh, so let's get a healing mantra for this. Here we go. This is where the womp womp will come in, right? It's just like, I don't know, processing grief or, you know, uh, honoring adversary, adversary adversity. Breathe. My Ascended Masters. I know you like me for my sense of humor or you wouldn't work with me, so please. One card in clarity for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs from this new moon in Leo to full moon next in Pisces. What... What is our perfect healing mantra that will help us heal? I mean, really, because to even put this together lightly, we've got the Angel of Dreams walking with us. Archangel Michael talking about the Maya Treya, wisdom of the ages within us. Uh, the goddess is talking about Scorpio Hakate herself, which, though a crone, don't look like one, right? Definitely, uh, when I've met her, my masters, you know her, right? The, high, the, the gods talking about strength. This is very, very heart-centered. Turn on your light with this erotic energy going on. So what is the perfect healing mantra? Please leave it in my hand. 
for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. This new moon to full moon next August into September 2020. Please, I don't care. I will take all day. Please, just one card. <laughs> just leave one card for the Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This new moon to full moon next. <laughs> Allowing appreciation. <laughs> this is a good thing. The value of my life increases each and every time I appreciate everything in it. Now, if you have an Abraham Hicks based background and you've been doing um, Rampage of Appreciation for 20 years, you know, that's a way in to that. And certainly I'm going to read it from the book, but there's something here really about raising the vibration, like what we can do, right? Because a lot of this stuff, it's really coming from deep inside of us. So what we can do in terms of um, taking the courage here is to really not make a rough, intense spiritual practice of appreciation, but to at least take the mantra and to put it into the energy system to unlock that which is ready uh, to be unlocked. Allowing appreciation. The value of my life increases each and every time I appreciate everything in it. And that is going to turn on your heart light and it is going to give you the strength and the fortitude, myself included. This is, uh, this is pretty... Uh, intense. Uh, the value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything in it. When appreciation is allowed, everything is seen as a gift for the evolution of your soul. Everything. And that doesn't mean we have to look at the harshness and the pain and all of that and in that moment appreciate it, but just acknowledge it and then turn your focus towards something that's a little bit easier. The more often you appreciate, the greater value you feel within your own life. And that is true. Appreciation is a habit. I used to do Rampage of Appreciation. And you can find it on YouTube. Um, while there is true worth in uncovering your life's purpose, most feelings of discontent are not caused by what you do or don't do. They are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment, because we don't get that everything is exactly how it's supposed to be for the evolution of the soul. The Maitreya vibe there coming out. Uh, but we want it to satisfy our desires. And with the erotic, you know, and we have dreams, you know, of course it's going to take some time for us to kind of cultivate that. Um... Instead of waiting for things to get better before you allow appreciation, you must be willing to acknowledge the value in all things. This will awaken the feelings of elation that are always alive within you. So it's not even a question of if there's anything here to appreciate. We have to allow ourselves to do it. So the value of my life increases each uh, time I appreciate everything in it is an, is the incentive. It's saying that the more you do this, the value of your life is going to increase. So it's a little bit of a carrot pulling us forward there. Uh, and here's the cool part. This mantra is ideal for unraveling beliefs <laughs> of lack and scarcity. Hello. Oh, no, no, sorry. I jumped to the wrong side there. Uh, this mantra is ideal. I know that's amplifying abundance, which is one of my favorite mantras. This mantra is ideal for increasing worthiness decreasing feelings of scarcity and raising your vibration. I don't know, kids. I think this is uh, that, <laughs> that we might be able to, um, I'll use this word lightly, nail this uh, new moon because the angels are talking about dreams. So certainly, yes, turn to the nocturnal, turn to the dreams, the, the actual uh, subconscious, unconscious imagery while you sleep, if you can remember it. Um, but also remember the aspirational aspect, the life dreams. And let's jump around here a little bit. Let's jump around. Uh, with the erotic in there, yes, there might absolutely be a connection between those things, particularly because Scorpio's on the table here. I mean, it, the Scorpio card, Hecate, kind of blends both of those cards together. You see what I'm saying? There's a through line here. And with the Mayatreya, that... We have been everything. Like, remember that what was in that. Like, go back and listen to that. It was beautiful. This is my first time reading it out loud, or I think maybe ever, right? I'm learning this deck as I go. That's really saying that we have played every role. So maybe there's some stuff in those dreams of both kinds, both natures, the sleeping kind as well as the aspirational kind. And so what are we going to need? Courage. Strength. Right, The strength, however, of the soul that has endured everything and has grown and collected all of that wisdom. Because remember, the key words here are wisdom of the ages, 
within us. And to turn on our heart light by allowing appreciation, this feels like a formula. Happy birthday, Leos. <laughs> the Leo sun signs, happy birthday. So let me give you a blessing on top of that. May the Leo collective sun, moon, rising Venus signs be blessed with all that they need. This new moon in Leo, their, our uh, new moon of the year to full moon in Pisces, that they may experience the awakening of the Maitreya, the awareness of the Maitreya within them through this Scorpio internal wealth, uh, subconscious, unconscious power moving through us that they may find, we may find the strength and the courage to take that erotic energy to follow our dreams, nocturnal and aspirational, turning on our heart lights as we allow appreciation for our well-being that our dreams and our deepest desires, even for money, sex, and power, are for the well-being of all. So may they manifest for our well-being and for the well-being of all in accordance with the divine plan. So mode it be. <laughs> so it is. I went from a blessing to a spell a little quickly, didn't it? <laughs> Divination magic. No, I'm not going to teach it on YouTube. Not yet, at least. Whew, that was a lot, wasn't it? <laughs> if I had a cigarette, I would smoke one. Thank you uh, so much for watching my Leo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Venus. Since I feel a little bit naked. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell, and comment below. This should be a humdinger. It's a bunch of Leo. I want to hear uh, if this resonates for you and if it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, it was a hot one. Uh, otherwise, wishing you the very best and the very blessed of it all, my, my Leos. <laughs> Meow. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.